it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, I really wish I could get that alignment just right. <laughs> um, as you can see, there's a box in front of you. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, evening, morning, whatever it is for you. I actually just got home from work um, and this box was waiting for me. And if you can see from the... Um, the tape here, we've got a Craftably box in our midst. This is actually the Craftably Mystery Kit um, that came out fairly recently. And this is the largest one that they had available. This is the $250 Craftably Mystery box and I selected it. Um, they gave you the option between round and square. I selected round. I only have experience with Craftably rounds, so I figured I'd stick with that um, rather than rocking the boat there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a little bit of an ordeal. FedEx kind of lost this package for a day or two, but it's here and it looks like it's in good condition. So no worries. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead without further ado and kind of get into this. Um, this is a kit, a mystery box. Obviously, I have no idea what's going to be inside except for one thing. And we'll talk a little bit about that because I'm assuming it's in here. Um, but I've seen a number of other people, actually not too many other people, a few other creators do the fit. There was a $50 box, $80 box, $150, $200, and then this is the big boy at $250. I don't, at the time of filming this, I have not seen anyone else unbox this larger sized one. Um, however, just with my posting scheduling, you're probably not going to see this for a week um, or so, a week and a couple days from the time of filming. So you may have seen some other people by this time unbox this, but um, from what I understand, there was some subtle differences from box to box. So I'm still excited to see what's in here. I haven't been spoiled yet because I haven't seen anybody else do this big one. So let's go ahead and get cracking into it. I do wanna say up front, there should be something in here that was not part of the mystery kit. I think it all got boxed together, but if I can snag that at the start, I will so we can talk about it, or once I get to it, I'll make sure to shout out, like, this was not part of the mystery box. This is something else I ordered. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. I have The few that I have seen have kind of given me a mixed feelings about the mystery box. Overall, I think everyone that's shown them has shown a lot of great value. Like, it's a good deal for what you pay for. But here's the thing, maybe I'll say this outright. Um, I am not the hugest fan of Jasmine Beckett Griff Griffith Griffith images. Um, I'm not the hugest fan. I think the other one is Hannah Lynn, like those super big eyed girl images. I'm not huge into them. Some of them I don't mind. Some of them I'm just not a fan of. And the boxes that I have seen open, the mystery boxes thus far, quite a few of them were pretty heavy, heavily Jasmine Beckett Griffith. If you, if you know what I mean, like all the kits that you got or a good majority were of those images. So I don't know how I feel about that. If we open this up and it is JBG top to bottom, that gives me a good opportunity to de-stash and maybe um, give these to, you know, get these to some good homes and maybe recoup a little bit of the money I spent on the mystery box. But I'm hoping that there's some variety here. So let's see. Okay. I know all the JBG lovers are like, how dare you? <laughs> um, okay, so first things first, we have a, um, actually, let me do this. Let me move this. Oh my God. It's, I looked at it on the, um, on the shipping thing. I'm going to turn it this way too, so we don't get any addresses in there. Oh, this thing's about 20 pounds. So <laughs> there's a lot going on in there. So first things first, we've got a bag, which I'm assuming has some fun goodies in it. I love the, and, and tonight, today is Halloween. This is Halloween at the time of filming this. So what better way to celebrate with a bag of candy? So eh, we've got all sorts of fun stuff, little gummy worms, some sweet tarts, dum-dums. Ooh, Nerds is my favorite candy, one of them. Sour Patch Kids are my other favorite. Looks like some ghosts and pumpkins, some, um, Snickers, a whole bunch of fun stuff. I'll probably have that all, most of it inside my belly by the end of the night tonight. <laughs> I'll just do a little candy and diamond painting Halloween night. Um, okay, so yeah, and also I have you sky high up in the air because that's the only way I could get that whole box in frame. So I might have to pull these up towards you. Okay, 
So, like I said, I'll call out when the thing that isn't isn't part of the mystery kit gets revealed. I'm hoping it's in here. We'll see. Um, okay, so first thing I grabbed is a weathered diamond painting welcome sign. Interesting. Okay, DIY diamond painting. Let's go ahead and open it up. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so we have a welcome to our home sign, and then it looks like you get, yeah, cool. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever got one of these kind of like not a kit kits. <laughs> so welcome to our home, and then you have all these different little add-ons to do the O in home. So you've got one for Valentine's Day, a deal de los muertos one, maybe an Easter basket. It looks like a turkey, a Christmas tree, um, a four-leaf clover. So like for different holidays and special occasions, these are like magnets and they stick to this metal um, frame. And then you can swap it out depending on the holiday or event. So let's go ahead and take a look. So yeah, there's all sort, and they're all diamond painted. There's a rose, there's a um, flag, USA flag, little sunflower, oh, little puppy. Um, all sorts of fun goodies that you diamond paint each one and then do they magnetize or do they stick? It looks like this is a magnet. So I'm assuming this is a magnetic once you remove all the stuff. I would hope, I'm not sure, maybe it is sticky. Maybe it is a stick on, stick off. Um, I'm curious to see if these are magnetic. Doesn't, maybe they're not. Interesting, I'll have to see how that works. That could be pretty short lived if it's just stickiness. You might have to find another way to adhere them, but you've got all sorts of different ones here. Okay, so there's that. And then you've got your drills here. It looks like we might, might have some sort of glow drill or something. It's in its special bag or it's just white. And then you've got all your crystals and fun stuff here. You've also got a little chain, it looks like. Um, oh, here it is. Here's the here's the magnet. Ha ha, ha ha. There we go. There's the magnet. So that adheres to here and then you can magnetize them. And then a chain to hang your sign. And then you also get some wax, some baggies, a single placer on the pen and a little boat for your drills. Cool, so that's a fun little goodie. A lot of this stuff, I that's another thing with these mystery kits is like, a lot of this stuff, I don't know if I would necessarily ha like utilize, but what I'm thinking is, oh, this might be a great way to already have a little treasure trove of stuff for giveaways if and when I decide to do lives and events. I'll have some stuff, uh oh, Apollo's freaking out. Um, I might have some stuff to go ahead and get started. So, yeah. Okay, so there's that all boxed back up. Magnetic set. Cool. All right, so let's take a look at our next items here. I'm just grabbing randomly. Okay. What in the world is this? What the heck is that? Okay, let's, I have no idea what this is supposed to be. What is this? Okay, let's see. I want to be careful when I open them too, because if I do decide to do it as a giveaway, I have to box this up again. Okay, so there's a bunch of wood pieces here, and then it looks like some rubber rings, and then a whole mess of, oh, I think I know what this is. You get a whole bunch of these boats. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the instructions. I, I think I have an idea what this might be. The instructions are... Eh, eh. Here, okay. Aha. Yes. Okay. So, this is a storage rack for diamond painting trays and, pe and pens. So it shows you how to assemble it, and then you can see you've got slots for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight potential slots for trays, and then a whole bunch of holes there for different pens. 
There's the different pieces. Nine grids of nine grids and 16 grid storage rack. Interesting. So it's like a little wooden storage rack. And I guess maybe those rings maybe fit inside there to like keep your pens in place. I'm not too sure. But yeah, you can store a bunch of these small boats in there and a bunch of diamond painting pens. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so I'm just gonna slip this back in here. Like I said, I don't know, I don't know what I'll be keeping for myself and using or what will just get, be used as like future giveaways. So, but that's really cool. So it, it's almost like a project in itself to put it together, kind of Ikea style, and then you have it to work on your crafting projects. So that's nice. Okay, cool. Let me just do a quick Apollo check-in and then we'll be back to keep going. One sec. Okay, he's fine. He's got his bone. He's good to go. Okay, next thing that came out of the box was what looks to be a diamond painting pen. But let's crack this open to confirm. There's some other stuff in here. Eh. Okay, so just keeping track, we've got our welcome home sign with the different holiday things. We've got our storage tray thing with the boats included. And this is um, a diamond painting pen. Can I take it out without ruining it? Yes. Uh, maybe? Okay, cool. Oh, it's just a little piece of plastic. It's a really cool kind of like it looks like someone's dropped like water or food coloring in their dye and then it dried with those droplets. That's kind of cool. Looks like we've got a three placer, um, wide tip on this end, single tip on that side. Seal that up. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Hold on again. Okay, those they were looking a little rough. So, <laughs> okay, so in here we have two sets of metal multi-placers. We've got a gold set and a silver set. It looks like they might have the exact same items in there. A four, a seven, a flat straightener, and then a single placer, and then an angled single placer. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five, five piece each. And then it has the little, the little washers that you can use um, to make sure that it's like a nice snug fit in your in your actual pen. Let's see, I just don't want, yeah, they're all taped up. Um, I have everlasting tips that I utilize. These look like they are thin. Mm. Yeah, I think these are thin multi-placers. So I have a set of everlasting tips that I utilize and I've had sets like these before and they're fine, they work just fine, but I kind of, put a ring on the everlasting tips. So I'm gonna keep these all boxed up so I can use them for potential giveaways. So there's those. Okay, actually I'm gonna put them in this bag. But that's nice to have. I mean, an extra set of 10, um, 10 uh, diamond painting tips, like that is awesome. I have another set um, that I got from Distracted by Diamonds, too. Okay, I'm reaching in here completely blindly now, so... Ooh, tools bag! This is cute! I love that! What's in... Oh, holy moly! There's all sorts of stuff in here. Okay, okay. This is a cute little bat. There's batteries. What the heck? Ooh, I think I saw someone unbox these in one of um, Craftably's old unboxings that they did over the summer. Yes, so this, there's three pens here. I'll show you what one looks like. I guess we can put one together. So you've got three pens here that have a slot in here for batteries. And I think you load two batteries in there. These are triple A's. And then screw this down. Yes, look, it's a light up pen. And then you have your, it comes with a whole bunch of what looks like wide tipped um, placers. And then you can feed one of these, I think. Yeah, so you gotta loosen this up a little bit. Feed one of your pen tips in here. 
Am I doing this right, everyone? Let's see. Let's see. No. No, Anthony, you're not. Eh. Oh, you really got to get it on there. Okay, I think you got to have to force those boys on there. But then you have a light up pen tip, which is great for camping and diamond painting. I'm not sure why you would need that. Maybe it helps with like seeing the symbols. I don't know. That's very interesting. But you get a whole bunch of different pen tips, uh, multi-placers, various sizes. You even have one of those roller ones, those rolly ones. And I think that's what this is, is the adhesive that goes on that rolly kind of pizza cutter um, for multi-placing. So you've got all that, plus three of the pens, only enough batteries for the two, but you do get a couple batteries, which is nice. And then you also get a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of blue wax, which I do have blue wax that I got from Distracted by Diamonds, and I really like it. So you've got a whole bunch of blue wax, enough to last you tons of diamond paintings. And yeah, all comes in a cute little bag. To be honest, my favorite part about this whole this whole set here is the bag. That's a cute bag to put um, diamond painting pens in, like when you're traveling or something. But I'm gonna put this in the potential giveaway pile. Boop, boop, boop. Zip all that up. Okay, cool. So now we're, that's four different sets or items. What else we have in here? This is, let's see. Eh. Maybe I'll be more careful with opening them if I intend on giving them away and resending them. Eh. There we go. Ah, <gasps> Bella Art de Nicole. I, I, knew I, I knew that logo from somewhere. Oh, it's a little mini uh, craftably 3D printed Bella Art de Nicole tray. How awesome. Jamie and Nicole. This is my very first Bella Art de Nicole tray. It's just a little guy. How cute. Okay, I'm keeping that one. How could you not keep that one? That's going in the me pile. And it's kind of that craftably purple. That's so, that's very cute. Okay, what else? We've got this thing. What is this? Okay, we've got a boat and a single placer, some wax and some baggies. And this is an A. Hey, that's my name. <laughs> that's my first initial. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Um, it's a. I'm going to have to go back and see if like another creator got their own letter. A for Anthony. And it's a double-sided, it looks like, keychain. So you got your chain here, your little hook, and, whoops, we've got a whole bunch of drills in here. It looks like there's some special drills, some larger ones. That's really cool. Okay, so because that one is customized to my name, I'm going to go ahead and hang on to that one. And... I might attach it to maybe one of my drill containers, my storage containers from Art Dot. I might just hang it off of my little, um, you can kind of see part of it, my little tray over here that has all my trays and stuff and some minders on it. So that's gonna go in the meat pile just because it is my name. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff in here. Holy moly. Okay, okay. Ooh, there's a note. Good day. You know what's cool? Sed uh, sitting here at the warehouse writing these notes and thinking about who will receive the package. Are you excited? Will you love it? We sure hope so. We appreciate you and your support. Craftably yours, Amy, aka Crafty Wife. How cool. I love these little individualized notes. Okay, cool. So, we have... A case and I have seen someone else unbox this and I think I know there might be something that goes along with that so let's you know what let's set that aside we'll come back to it just in case there's something else in here that's supposed to go with it all right so press pause on what we've been discussing okay it's actually no I'll set it aside let's make it let's make you might have seen a little glimpse of it but let's set let's wait let's do everything that's in the cube itself Okay, maybe I lie. 
there is nothing else that goes with this. So this is a little case. It's like a little laptop case. You could put, I was trying to think of what I could do with this. Um, I could even put a couple like trays because I was like, I don't necessarily think I put my laptop in there, but I could put like a cut like two Mooney maids in there and then three of the big ones and have my trays with me when I travel. Um, you could do a number of different things. I saw some of the unbox, uh, some of the unboxings came with a light pad and I was like, oh, maybe the light pad fits in there, but it looks like they're two separate gifts. So yeah, I think it's just a laptop case, but I'd find some other fun uses for it as well. But yeah, it's cute. It's kind of made with this like felty kind of material. So yeah, little fun case that could also be a really good giveaway. And then it looks like we've got one last little thing here, I, at least from what I can tell before we get to the kits. What in the heck is this? Are they ear are these earrings? I think they're earrings. Yeah, look, there's like a little ear, there's like the little clasps and stuff. Look, it's like a little earrings set. Oh, um, I don't know if I'm that into diamond painting. <laughs> I don't have my ears pierced, so I'd have to make that commitment first. I want to take a look and see what if, what kind of quality drills we're working with here. How cute! Okay, so we've got some crystals, we've got some pearls. Look at those special drills. Uh, yeah, I, that's not something I would personally... Oh, you also have your your kit here, your tool kit. I think it's a really cute idea. If you're really into diamond painting, then you could absolutely diamond paint those ears, but I don't have pierced ears. I guess I could use them on like bags and stuff, but I probably won't. I think this is another excellent giveaway item, but that's really cute. They put in so many fun little like small projects in here. I like that idea. Okay. Okay. So there's the last of like kind of our small things. So we have our welcome sign, our tray storage um, set, our tote bag with the light up pens, our regular pen with the two sets of metal tips, our laptop case, our earrings. Now let's get to some of this main event stuff. And I'm not gonna do full unboxings of all of these kits. Um, I'm just going to show you what the images are. So that being said, there's a loose tool kit, craftably tool kit in here. These usually have washi tape, all kinds of fun stuff. Everything that you need to do your diamond painting, usually a cover minder, but I'm not gonna go through it because I'll do it when I unbox the, the matching kit, okay? So we've got that, and we've got what looks to, what feels like a kit in a uh, teal tube, my first craftably tube. So let's look at this. Now here comes the part that's making me actually nervous because I'm like, what, are, what images did they send? <laughs> okay, so here's our craftably tube with kit inside. And the kit that we are looking at, oh, you've gotta be freaking kidding me. It's Sunset Crossing, I own this one. <laughs> It's one of the two craftably kits I already own. <laughs> Sunset Crossing. It's huge. I can actually... Uh, I'm, do I want to shuffle to find it? No, that's okay. Um, I already own Sunset Crossing, but that is okay. It's an excellent opportunity to have one for a gift. So let's see. So yeah, it's just the canvas inside with your drills. And I'm assuming the toolkit is what matched went with this since there's no toolkit in here. But yeah, Sunset Crossing. Wow, of all the kits that I could have received, I only have I only have two craftably kits that I own, and that just happens to be one of them. Sunset Crossing, twenty four by thirty six by Will Cormier. Excellent, um, and that's a good value. I think this kit full price is eighty dollars. So that's the that's probably the pricey one in the set. We'll have to see. Okay, next up, not looking, not looking, little guy. You ready? Flip. Oh, it's Mittens, Destroyer of Worlds. Yay. Okay, this is one that I wanted <laughs> that I have been eyeing on the site. This is an 18 by 24 round by Warmtail. Um, my other Warmtail kit that I own is uh, Crimson Oracle. So yay. Awesome. Warmtail. How cute. Mittens, Destroyer of Worlds. I just love that title. And I could see, I don't know what the, have they dressed the, dressed the kitty up? 
but I could absolutely see myself doing some like blue glow drills or something fun. Awesome. Perfect. Perfect. Worth it. <laughs> okay, next up we have another small one, uh, medium sized one and flip. And we have Windswept. This is a round, looks like it goes like that. Um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, 24 by 18 round. Okay, giving me some steampunk vibes, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't mind this one. I, I like that kind of look as opposed to like the more sassy ones. I don't know why. I still don't know if it was, it's something I'd necessarily do. I'd have to, when I do the unboxing, I'll have to take a look, but it could make a really good gifty. Cool. All right, we've got two more kits in here. These are some bigger ones. Are you ready? Flip. We've got Furry Familiar. Oh, this is Kara Ann Aldridge. That's really cute. So we've got the kitty with the stars and the witch. And this is a 22 by 28 round. Okay. This is an excellent Festival of Witches or Drills and Chills canvas for next year. Sweet. Cool. All right, last one. Last kit. What do we got in here? Ooh, there might be something else hiding back there. I hear something a, a rustling. <laughs> Are you ready? Flip. Oh, you've got to be freaking Crimson Oracle. It's my other one that I have. I'm already working on this. Seriously. <laughs> oh, 20 by 28 round. <laughs> oh, but what are the odds? What are the odds? Seriously, I should have done squares. Oh, man. All right, Crimson Oracle by Wormtail, 20 by 28 round. <sighs> okay, so I guess really the three kits that I kind of got out of this are these three, which, you know what, between this and the other goodies, I'm fine. You know what? Ah, that's... That is a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. I mean, they don't know what I own or don't own and they just pack everything up individually. So those will make really good gift kits that I don't have to purchase later on down the road. Or who knows, I might end up doing um, doing a craft fair and I might be displaying my finish of those two. Oh, here we go. There's another, uh, there's another letter in here. Um, I might display my finishes of those two and someone might wanna buy the kit and then I've already got it ready to go, so. Okay, um, we've got the, I'm not going to open this up, but it's the letter R. So maybe they are just picked randomly. So this is an R, um, double-sided little keychain that can be diamond painted. So this will be great as a giveaway um, for the future. And hopefully that person has, um, has affinity for the letter R or their name is, starts with an R. Ah, uh, okay. Gosh, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to sound bummed about those two big kits being the only two I have from Craftably, but I kind of am. Um, okay, so what I have for you, this is, that was it. That was the mystery box, a total of five diamond paintings. So granted, for five diamond paintings, uh, 51, 50, 50 bucks a pop, essentially, and then all that other stuff is freebies. So not too shabby, not too shabby by any means. I'm not complaining. It's just the luck of the draw, and I just got not the best luck on that round. <laughs> so I will still definitely do um, craftably mystery kits going forward. I might just do a smaller one. That way that ticket price isn't such a hit when it, you know, such a sting when it's not something that I would particularly want or already have. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. But if that was all new to me, I would have been freaking out because those Crimson Oracle and Sunset Crossing were kind of my two favorite images from the Craftably site. So it's very interesting that I got those again. Um, and the tube, the tube's 15 bucks by itself. So, okay. So here we go. Are you ready for this? This is not part of the gift set. I purchased this separately. This is one of Craftably's miniature like diorama diorama sets. And this is, um, where is the title of it? Does it even have the title? I don't know. Okay, let's just show it. I'll, I'll find it on the, the invoice. It's a miniature sushi restaurant. Ah! Oh my goodness, I've never done a miniature before, but when I saw this two-level two sushi restaurant, 
I about had a conniption. This is so cute, cute, cute. Guess how much? $34.99. That's it for this incredibly detailed kit. It is Sushi Cafe and it comes with a dust cover. I don't want to crack it open too, too much because who knows if I'll ever be able to get it back in here. But I do want to take a look and see what, um, how it's broken down. I've never done one of these before. So this is a little bit of an unboxing. I'll probably do a full unboxing of it, maybe tied to when I start working on it, because I am going to do videos of it. But we've got a lot of, oh, here's the dust cover. It's all covered in um, protective sheathing. I just want to take a little peek, see through. We've got toolkits with a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my god, there's a ruler and screwdrivers. This is going to be intense. We've got... Uh, looks like little pieces for the chairs and the tables here. We've got some glue. I want to see some of the bigger pieces. <gasps> no way! Look at all the like fluff for maybe like the salmon row or something. There's different twines. This is gonna this is gonna be a whole series of my channel probably. Some other random bits and bobs. Some of the outdoor decorations. Holy poopy! Holy poopy. This looks like something. Maybe for like the lanterns and, and the lighting and stuff. Here's the actual electrical wiring for the for the lighting. Gibbon Sushi. It looks like we have a whole bunch of maybe stickers and stuff in here, an instruction booklet. Ah, oh my goodness. Here's the looks like the base framing, which isn't printed with anything. Wow, you really have to do this. This is really DIY. Here's another thing of glue. Uh-oh, it looks like we've got some leaky glue here. Craftably, fam. It's hardened, so it didn't get on anything, but just keep that in mind. Um, I will be 100% honest with you. I'm more excited about this thing that I got extra <laughs> than I am about the mystery kit. But that's okay. That's the, that's the nature of the mystery kits. It's a mystery... They don't guarantee that it's going to be all these kids that you'll fall in love with and you take that chance. And I will continue to take that chance because you never know. You never know. But this is freaking cool. I kind, They have a whole series of them on the Craftably site. Oh my gosh, I want to dig into this. Look, at it's like little, little rock. Oh my god. Um, they have a whole series of these on the um, Craftably site. Not all restaurant themed, but like... One will be like a library or an art space. I mean, they're all reasonably priced for how much detail there is in them. And with that dust cover, did I put that in there? Yeah, with the dust cover, I have a bookshelf that is is just in dire need of something like this. How freaking cute. I can't wait to get started on this. Look, I mean, like... You've even got little packages with twine around them. You've got a little um, calathea, I believe that is there. Um, a cup, a palm back there. Look at like, and on, oh, that all that fluffy stuff must be for the the tree. So look at all these individual pieces of sushi on the tables, and oh my gosh, it's just it's so intricate and detailed. I love it. Look at the the blinds or like the the covering there, the curtains. Yes, 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 yes. And like all the lights, there's a whole bunch of lights everywhere. Oh my gosh. And then on this side, I don't know if this is one that they carry, but this is called Lovely Cat's Home. So this was on the opposite side of the box. So Cat Cafe Garden is what this one's called. I don't know if they carry this one. It's just on the box, but you get all you need to complete this sushi restaurant. I'm freaking out. I want to start it like right now, but the, I do not have time <laughs> to invest in this right now. Um, okay, so that's it. That's a super long mystery box unboxing. I hope you um, saw some stuff that would speak to you. Like I said, a lot of people might be freaking out because it's like all the canvases that they could have wanted. For me, it's, it's a little bit of a miss only because I already own two of the five. And then I only got one Jasmine Beckett Griffith, though, which is not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm okay. I will survive. And if anything, 
I got all of this stuff to give away as gifts and I don't have to buy it. So if I ever do my own diamond painting event or something like that, then I can just throw these in a bag or a box and ship them out and call it good. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, um, how you feel about the selection that was provided in the top tier box, if it's something that you would go for. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Did I say that? Share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you would, um, you think might take some value out of it. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye.